How was your day? Day was fun. fun. Are you happy with uh, your laps? I'm stoked, yeah. I definitely wish I landed my last run in the mm. big air final, but you know, do your best and <laughs> bless the rest. You got gold in the US Open. I did. Are you stoked? I'm so happy, yeah. That contest is kind of like the Catalina wine mixer of snowboard events, and it feels I think almost better than any event to win the US Open. I love park, I love park. I'm like trying to get better at big air and like the hype and the pressure of like one trick and kind of acrobatic, but slope style is really where I find my flow and I enjoy it more. Yeah, I worked on a project last year with Snowboarder Mag uh, and all my partners called Unconditional and it showcases a little bit of where I came from and where I want to go and I got to explore more backcountry last year. We filmed on site in Japan, British Columbia, Alaska, and Tahoe. It's something I've been wanting to do for a long time, but I've been kind of sucked into the contest circuit and running around and staying busy and it's very hard to balance filming because it also takes so much energy and contest writing, but I was really stoked I was able to put the project together. Do you have any favorite bits from the whole process? I love Alaska. It's the most magical place I've ever been. And when I was younger, I always dreamed of being able to go ride lines in Alaska. And I'm going back this year to film more and I'm really, really excited. So, won the Rider of the Year. Congrats, sick. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you. that was a huge honor. Um, to be recognized by all your peers because it's writer voted, not fan voted. It's like a huge honor and I was really stoked. I definitely worked my ass off last and year. You know, I got out of my comfort zone and then to be like recognized and rewarded was just like really humbling and I'm super grateful. <laughs> it's not easy, but it's fun. <laughs> You know what, we're so badass. Like I was thinking that tonight, it's like so cold and there's so many amazing athletes and so much talent. And you know, unless you're in it and you know what kind of work and effort goes into it, it's kind of like, holy smokes, I gotta take a step back and like give myself appreciation because it's hard. And that's why there's not a lot of people that are pursuing action sports because there's so much balance of finding the mind, body, spirit, and mentally it's just exhausting. And then physically, you're dealing with crashes and injuries and persevering through it. And it's a whole part of the process, but I love it. I'm thankful I get to do what I do. You do a lot of wellness and yoga. Do you uh, feel that that's helped you in snowboarding? Yeah, for sure. I, I care so much about feeling good and having my health and I wanna have longevity. So finding the balance of this chaos with some yoga, and I love my like doTERRA essential oils. Just practicing a little bit more mindfulness is good. And keeps me happy because life can be crazy and it's always like the ocean ebb and flow. And I think taking a step back and taking some time for yourself is the most vital thing that each and every one of us could do. How do you balance healthy life on the road? <laughs> I try to just live through inspiration, kind of like my mom inspires, you know, you can do your best and at times I can't eat like all organic or sometimes I want to party and drink some tequila, but you know, <laughs> counterbalance it yeah. with some detoxing <laughs> after and like nourishing and I think the most important thing is like being happy and content and that's something that takes a lot of practice, but I think with a good mindset, any one of us can overcome even the most challenging time. Who do you think is the one to watch in women's snowboarding? Women's snowboarding? Oh, there's so many amazing <laughs> riders. I've been really uh, inspired by Zoe Sinnott. She's riding really good and just has a unique style. Um, also the young Japanese girls like Kokomo, Maras, and Miyabi, like they're amazing. And it's just been fun to watch this like next wave of snowboarders because no, I'm the veteran nowadays, <laughs> but I'm so inspired by the young girls. It's like what we need, you know, we're inspired by each other. So without other people pushing 
themselves, there wouldn't be progression or there wouldn't be growth. So yeah, gotta, gotta love the little ones. Do you have anything else you would like to tell uh, us about your upcoming plans or? Gosh, I am like such a not future tripper. <laughs> it's hard for me to even make plans because someone asked me like, oh, what are you doing in December? Want to come to Locks? I'm like, December, like, <laughs> where are we? I'm like, are we in March? Like, I can't even think about April yet, but I'm excited for everything. I'm gonna do more free riding in the future and continue to compete and push myself in the park and just live it up, live every moment to the fullest. So, yeah. Well, thank you, Jamie. You're welcome. Pleasure. Thanks for having and, me. And um, I'll see you around. Yes, we'll be cruising. <laughs>